Running your car on waste, or more specifically, toilet waste, may sound like science fiction. And yet a process that can make road fuels from sewage sludge is exactly what the Tucson Fuel Project is demonstrating. We demonstrated to get from sewage sludge to fuel and we really, yeah, it's really an achievement for us, for the whole project team, for the whole consortium and we're really happy to, to do it. Over the last six months, the demonstration plant in Germany has made over 40,000 litres of bio-crude oil from sewage sludge for upgrading to petrol and diesel. And it can go straight into your car without modification. But let's take a step back. Why do we need biofuels in the first place? Surely we'll all be driving electric vehicles within the next decade. Simply put, we won't. Because of the lifetime of internal combustion engine vehicles, even by 2050, we're still only looking at about 50 to 80 percent. Whilst most agree that electric cars have many advantages and are the future of road transport, the challenge is that around 98% of existing cars and trucks run on fossil fuels, and these will be on the road for at least another 20 years. So we need a solution, an interim sustainable fuel that can run in normal internal combustion engines. Tucson fuel petrol and diesel have the same properties as regular petrol and diesel, which is a major advantage over conventional biofuels, with the added benefit of coming from waste biomass. This means, compared to fossil fuels, they don't contribute additional carbon dioxide to the environment and can be seen as a carbon neutral fuel that can help reduce transport CO2 emissions. This technology can be really cost competitive to, to fossil fuels. As well as sewage sludge, the Tucson fuel process can convert almost any type of biomass into petrol and diesel, including municipal waste, agricultural residues and garden waste. Importantly, it can convert and eliminate microplastics which are present in many waste materials. Sewage sludge was chosen for this project as it's a particularly challenging waste for disposal. We start with sewage sludge which is dried and pelletized. We get a syngas which is rich in hydrogen. We get a TCR crude oil and we get a biochar which you can see here. Another key advantage is energy security. Biomass is produced everywhere. So the production of biofuels doesn't need to rely on the import of materials or crude oil from geopolitically unstable regions. To showcase the project technology, we took an unmodified Volkswagen Passat around Europe, fueled with diesel from the plant, stopping at important locations along the way. We made a pit stop in the Czech Republic to meet up with rally legend Walter Röhl at Autodrom Most. He's been a big supporter of the project since it began. Our outstandingly pro pit crew topped up the car with two sim fuel diesel, ready for the next leg of the tour. This is langsam mit Tank, but nichts mit mit dem Produkt zu tun. Bestens, it was. I'm impressed. <laughs> Next stop, the Bavarian Ministry in Munich to lobby for political support for advanced biofuels. I've met the minister, has shown our sustainable fuels, and he's really underlined that all this uh, sustainable energy, sustainable fuels, is important for the energy transition here in Germany and in Bavaria. Also, erst Kriegerschlamm, Hinterlassenschaften von Städten. And we showcased the Tucson Fuel Project at the EU Sustainable Energy Week in Brussels, where Dr. Robert Dashner from Fraunhofer and Dr. Chris Tuck from WRG Europe presented to a youth audience about the project and the future of energy. Diesel for cars because they are electrified. There are other sectors like the road or shipping sector, aviation sector, which are hard to electrify. And on return to the demo site in Germany after a two-week tour around Europe, thoughts turned to the next steps. How to scale up the technology to bring Tucson fuel biofuel to the pumps at your local forecourt, and importantly, at a price that competes with conventional fuels. 
The team is exploring exciting opportunities that could deliver this reality within the next five years. If you want to know more about the project, please visit tusinfuel.eu. And if you're interested in collaboration opportunities with the team to create commercial applications for Tucson Fuel, please contact us at info at